was my usual train was cancelled um, and the next one was going to be about 20 minutes. Then I saw this figure like come towards me, but the train came like finally, luckily. So I ran and I jumped on it. I was like just really scared, you know, like my heart was banging in my chest. Uh, but I told myself like, I'm okay now, you know, I'm on the train. Just suddenly this man came into my carriage. I'm like, well, is it the guy from the platform? Like, is he following me? So he just sits at the end of my carriage, just staring at me, like proper, you know, like really scary. You'd have been scared. So I just like stared out the window, but then he came over and he literally sat like where you're sat, really close to me. And he started asking me questions like, where am I going? Have I got a boyfriend? Like he was really creepy. It was horrible. I just knew I had to get away, so I pushed past him and I made my way to the next carriage. And then I realised he was following me. I was just terrified. So I just kept going until I got to the end carriage. And well, now I had nowhere to go. You know? I was trapped. I found the end seat and just curled up and waited because I knew he was still coming for me. I could hear his music getting louder. And then, well, suddenly the train stops. Other passengers got on, the man got off. Um, I was just sat there crying and shaking. Like other passengers asked me, am I okay? I told them what had happened. They told me to report it to the guard. I told them there is no guard. <laughs> it's just like, so many of my friends have been in similar situations. You know? Ask any young girl about traveling alone on a train at night, how scary it can be. I just need someone to talk to. Like, there should be a guard on a train. No excuses. I'm sorry, but like, I think it's ridiculous, don't you?